Hi guys, so we're inside the bus, we're still working on the floor and we've gotten to the front of the bus and there's some things that we have to deal with. All right, well, the, this is the cover for the fuel gauge down in the tank. So we want to frame around that and can get in there and re do repair work on the gas gauge, on the fuel gauge. The filler net comes up over there so we got a frame around it, put a little notch in the floor up to the wheel wheel. I'm gonna put couches on both sides and I really didn't enjoy cutting those out so I, I'm not cutting these out. Even though the guys say it's perfectly doable, just like the back ones were, because it has a bump stop with the same clearance and all that, I just don't wanna cut them out because I didn't enjoy that process so I'm not cutting them out. So I gotta box these in too. So in that um, face plate that's on the floor, we're missing a couple screws. So I'm on another scavenger hunt. Um, he pulled out a screw, so I have something to match, but let me show you where I'm heading. This is probably the best thing we've done is we've saved all those little bits and pieces, all the hardware off of the bus, all the different screws that have been holding the bus together in multiple places. So I'm going to look through here and see if I can find two screws that match this little guy. So I found something close and Randy said that'll work. <laughs> now I'm drilling. Drilling? You're using that fancy new jig. Oh, look at, look how this. easy this thing is. We if Shelly can do it, hey, 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 can do hey. it. <laughs> Watch it. You what? Got a stop collar that stops it. Anybody could do that. It's so easy. It's, it's, it has saved so much time in putting this floor down. It's amazing. All right, we're gonna do all the studs for the walls like that too, basically, so. But yeah, just line it up, clamp it in. You're good to go, man. Hey, when that baby hits the bottom, that's a done deal. I love that. <laughs> I wanted that on film. Can you say it again? You always pay for your inaccuracies at the last joint. Because if you want to play, you gotta pay. You got this, baby. I got this done. I have a bigger drill, but... It's so powerful that blows them through there too far. <laughs> well, plus you found out, you found that well, here's the big guy, but the little guy fits in there a lot easier. Mm. Ooh, he's pretty flat. From the Oklahoma twist. Oh, there you go. And on it like, uh, Chris does. like Chris does the metal. Chris does. Christify it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That'll, have, that'll be a great access hole. Probably never. We'll never need it. Probably never. So yeah. if you make allowances for it, then you eliminate the need to have it. That's life. That is. But it's always better to be safe than sorry, right? Yeah. Where's your screws at? Will they? Will they work, people? I bucket dived and found two replacement screws. All right. Okay, here's how we have boxed around that opening and boxed around the diesel tank nozzle. And so now we're ready to drop the piece of plywood.
That's awesome. We got it in! My measurements worked! Man, we just slide this guy over. And get it locked down, huh? Yep. Last night we had to move back outside, but man, it is so beautiful today. It was a bit nippy this morning, but um, it's so nice and warm inside the bus. But let me show you how we're progressing on the floor. We just about got it. So because of our three inches of insulation, it created kind of like a entryway into our bus, which is gonna be so fun. And then here is where the co-pilot chair is going to be. So then we have that little bit right around the tire wells and otherwise we have the floor all in. Hey guys, here's that last piece of floor that I was showing you that we needed in the bus besides where my co-pilot chair is. But um, we're getting so close, Randy's just cutting a couple notches out to fit. What's up, YouTube? And there he is. I've almost got the floor done. I'm getting excited about it. And then the bus was really pretty square. After that 38 feet or whatever, 36 feet that we've went, it's just a little bit out of square. It's amazing for a thing that long that it's so square. That it held it, yeah. Yeah, pretty awesome. We're so grateful to Chris and Joe, um, even though they had to move us outside because they got a big rig in where the bus was, um, they still created a little spot for us to work in. So let's go do a test fit and see how that last piece works. The solar heat from the sun is unbelievable. I'm, I'm gonna put spray foam on, but I'm like, I don't wanna do it because the sides are warm. Where the white paint is, is cold. All well, and, and then this morning, sitting just in the steps here, and the light coming in, the sunlight, oh, it just felt so wonderful. Ah, oh, there it is. All right. Beautiful. So we've got just this side and that little side over there by the tire well. And our subfloor will be done. How cool is that, baby? Right here, that's what I was telling you. It's like from front to back, we're like, we're like we're within a quarter of an inch of being square all the way. That's amazing. That is truly amazing. Oh yeah, you can see it. Look at that. I think I'll I think I'll just trim this with the router so it's a good fit. Okay, guys, it's the end of the day, and um, we got the floor completely down. And it was a very successful couple of days, well, a few days, I should say, of laying the floor, but it is completed. So anyway, we just appreciate you guys so much for following us on this journey and hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Randy's outside the window. Yeah. <laughs>